Hi guys, welcome to geolify.com. Today I'm going to show you how to create a geo redirect. So what I'll do is I'll run through all the steps required using geolify to create a geo redirect. Now, to quickly explain to you what a geo redirect actually means is a geo redirect is a redirect that is based on visitor location. For the purpose of this geo redirect tutorial, I'll be using an e-commerce website as an example. So let's take a look at the, at the e-commerce website. It's called LED Depot and the main landing page is leddepot.com.au slash worldwide locations. So what this page does is it displays the three different locations in the world where LED Depot has offices. So they have an office in the United States, United Kingdom and Australia. Now wouldn't it be good to actually redirect visitors from these locations directly to a specific page. For example, if a visitor from the United States visits the worldwide locations page, wouldn't it be wouldn't it be good to redirect them directly to a web page that says, you know, welcome to our office in the United States. Same goes for the United Kingdom. If a visitor from the United Kingdom visits the the worldwide locations page, wouldn't it be good to redirect them directly to the United Kingdom page? So what we'll do today is use Geolify as a tool to create this geo redirect. So let's begin this tutorial. The first thing we need to do is log into our dashboard. So we'll click the dashboard login button. Type in your username and your password and click login. So this will take you to the Geolify dashboard page where you can see and create different geo snippets. What we want to do today is create a geo redirect which is right here. So we can just click on create new geo redirect. So this will take you to the page where you've created all your redirects. So we want to add a new redirect today. So just click the add new button on the bottom right corner. Once you click the add new button, you'll get to a page called edit geo redirect where you can actually create and configure your geo redirect. So in a few simple steps, we can finish up our geo redirect. So the first step is to click the start button and it asks you for a name. So let's type in LED Depot Worldwide Locations as a name and a short description LED Depot worldwide office locations redirect so just a quick simple name and a short description for what you want to do with your redirect now a very important part of this start section is to identify the landing URL now the landing URL is the URL where the visitors will actually visit and then get redirected so in our case the landing URL is ledepot.com.au slash worldwide location. So this is the web page where the visitors will actually visit and then get redirected appropriately. So I'll just copy that worldwide location URL and I'll go back to the edit geo redirect page and paste it here. Now because we only want to redirect that particular page, we have to make sure we click redirect redirect all pages to all. If you select this to be on, then it will redirect all pages in that website. So just make sure you select this to off. And obviously you want this redirect to be active, so the redirect status should be on. So once we finish our start section, we can close that. And the first thing we need to do is configure the first geo redirect. So we'll click that button there. So the first geo redirect is the redirect to the United States page. So what we'll do is we'll use this location selector to add a country which is United States. You can add a country, you can add a state, city. So in this case we need to add a country which is equal to United States. So we'll just type United, U-N-I-T-E-D, United. And there you go, United States comes up. So we've added United States as a location that we want to target. And the next step is to type in the redirect URL. 
So the redirect URL is the URL which you want the visitor to be redirected to. And in this case, it is the United States page. So we'll copy that. Go back to the Edit G Redirect page and paste it there. So that is the first geo redirect. So if a visitor from the country of United States lands on the landing URL, they will automatically get redirected to the redirect URL, which is leddepot.com.au slash United States. Now just make sure you leave that on. If you turn it off, then that redirect will be disabled. So for it to be active, you have to leave that on. So once we've created our first geo redirect, the next step is to add a new geo redirect because we want to target the United Kingdom and we also want to target the Australian offices. So we've got to add a total of two geo redirects. So let's go back to the edit geo redirect page. To add a new redirect, it's very simple. Just go all the way to the bottom of the page and you can see a plus redirect button. So all we do is click that plus button. What it does is it refreshes the page and adds another geo redirect too. So since we need another redirect, a third one, we'll click the plus button again. So there you have it. So we've got three geo redirects to play with now. So anytime during the exercise you can save your project. So just click save. There you go, it's been saved. So let's configure the second geo redirect which is for United Kingdom. So country is equal to United Kingdom. There you go, it's come in the list. So click United Kingdom and click add. And the redirect URL here is the United Kingdom page which is leddepot.com.au slash United Kingdom. So we'll copy that and paste it in the redirect URL field. Now the third redirect is for the Australian page. It's a country equal to Australia, A-U-S-T-R-A-L-I. There you go, it's come up in the list. So we add Australia and now we copy the Australian link and paste it in the redirect URL. So there you go, you've configured your three individual redirects. Now you can disable and enable any of these redirects anytime by switching them off and on. But in our case you want everything to be enabled so we'll leave the three redirects all turned on. So once you've done that click on save. Make sure you don't lose anything. Now the next step is to actually get the code the JavaScript code for this redirect and paste it on your website. Now we provide two different codes. One is for a known SSL domain and another one is for an SSL domain. So an SSL domain has a HTTPS in its URL. In our case the LED depot is not an SSL website so we'll just use the re redirect code for standard domain. So what we'll do is copy that. Copy that onto your clipboard. Now for geo redirect it's very important to paste this code in between your website's head tags. So I'll show you what the head tags are. If you go into the website HTML code, so this is leddepot.com.au's HTML code, you can see the open head tag here. And if you scroll all the way down, you can see the close head tag. Now it's very important that you paste the JavaScript code for Geolify in between the head tags. So you can see here I've pasted it in between the open head tag and the close head tag. Now that's extremely important that you do so. If you paste it anywhere else in the body tag, this redirect will not work. So once you've pasted the JavaScript Geolify code, you can save your website and return back to the dashboard. So once you get back to the dashboard, we'll go to the next step which is the validation section. 
So here you can quickly validate if you've actually pasted the JavaScript code correctly. So you can quickly type in the website where you've pasted the code and click on validate URL. There you go, it says pass, code has been found on your website. So what this validate section does is it quickly reads the HTML code from leddepot.com.au and checks if you pasted the JavaScript code in the correct location. So when it says pass, it's a good sign that it's in the correct location. So once you've done that, you can move on to the next step. So what I'll do, I'll quickly save it again. So there you go, now the GeoRedirect is completely configured. So what we've done here in the third redirect is if anyone from Australia visits the website, they automatically get redirected to the Australian website. So I'm actually visiting from Australia. If I jump onto my dashboard, if you just click the dashboard button and scroll down, it tells you your location. So you can see my location, I'm from Australia. So keeping that in mind, if I visit leddepot.com.au slash worldwide shipping now, I should automatically get redirected to the Australian page. So let's see if that happens. I'll refresh the worldwide locations page. There you go. It's automatically redirected me to Australia. So you can see now the redirect is actually working. So I'll try that again. I will go to worldwide locations. Enter. Sorry, I forgot to type the S, so Worldwide Locations. There you go, it's taken me to the Australian page. Now, let's go back to the redirect. So if you want to get back to the redirect, simply click on Redirect, and it'll take you to the page where you've configured all your redirects. So this is the redirect that I've configured. All I have to do is click on Edit. and it takes me back to my configuration. Now I just want to show you the function of disabling this redirect. So let's say I don't want to redirect all my Australian customers. I just turn this off and click Save. Now let's go back and type in the Worldwide Locations page again. Worldwide Locations and there you go, it has not redirected me now. So it's completely disabled Australian redirect. Now because I'm from Australia and I have no possible way of actually checking if the United States and United Kingdom redirect actually works, what you can do is use a validation test tool. So this validation test mode, what it lets you do is inject a particular location into the Geolify script and then you can actually go to the web page and see how that script works. So let's say I want to inject a location which is United States. So I have to turn my test mode on, type in the location and click Save. So what it does now is it injects United States into the visitor location. So if I go back and go to Worldwide Locations again, you should expect it to be redirected redirected to the United States page. So let's try that. There you go, it's taking you to the United States page. So using this test mode tool, you can actually test how the redirects work. See so if I go back and type United Kingdom in the test country and click save. and go back to the worldwide locations page it should take you to the United Kingdom page so there you go that validation test tool is extremely useful to test your geo redirect so after you've completed testing your geo redirect you can easily turn off the test mode by clicking off so just click off here and click save 
and it turns off the test mode completely. So there you have it. That's your simple geo redirect. Just to recap again, click on the start button, configure the name of the geo redirect, type in a short description, and type in the landing URL of where the visitors actually land on your website. Now make sure to keep the redirect all pages off if you want to redirect only that particular page. If you want to redirect the entire website, then feel free to turn that on. Now you can disable this entire redirect quite easily by turning off the redirect. And then you have your three different redirects. To add a new redirect, simply click the plus button. Now let's just say I want to remove the third redirect. All I have to do is click the minus button and it completely removes the third redirect so you're left with just the two initial redirects that you created and once you've completed configuring the redirects remember to copy and paste this code into your website HTML head now that's the standard code and that's the code for the SSL domains if you have an SSL secure domain make sure you copy the second line of code and not the first one so once you've copied and pasted the code onto your website, you can quickly test your URL. So type in your website location, click validate, and this code will automatically check if you've pasted the URL in the correct location. So once you've done that, then you can go ahead and utilize your URL. Then you can also run a quick location injection test by turning on the test mode. So once you've done all that, you can go ahead and exit the redirect. Now I'll just take you to the redirect section again. So if you visit the redirect page where all your redirects are displayed, you can see the landing URL displayed here, and you can see the name displayed here, and you can also see that the redirect is active because you haven't disabled it, you've turned it on so it's active and you can also see the number of impressions it, it's actually had so every impression is one visit so if I visit the worldwide shipping page sorry worldwide locations page that's considered to be one impression so if I update this there you go it's gone up to 25 if I keep refreshing this page reloading reloading, reloading and if I go back here and refresh it there you can see it's got 28 impressions so every time a visitor visits the website it's considered to be one impression now if you want to edit the redirect simply click edit and if you want to delete it altogether you can click delete alright that ends the tutorial on how to create a geo redirect if you want to ask us any questions or if you have any support questions or queries to ask, simply click on the quick support button. And you can quickly send us an email and we'll get back to you within 24 hours and help you out. Alright guys, so thanks for listening to the GLFI tutorial on how to create a geo redirect. Remember if you have any questions, feel free to drop us an email just using the quick support button and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Thank you.